Hey folks, my name is Promise. Welcome to more Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues, playing with the Enclave Reborn Redux mod with these reunited states. And we are now currently fighting against the Kaiser. Though this should be a piece of cake, honestly. He's also fighting Texas and the... was it, Rio Pact? Yes, that's what they're called. So he's getting hit on three sides right now. He's not long for this world. The question is, how much can we gain out of the arrangement? And then, what are we going to do? And the answer is, we need to start murdering everything around us. I need to really grow as fast as I can, because we're hitting what I call... The boring stage of the game, where you sit around waiting to justify war goals all the dang time. Let's go ahead and start justifying on New Vegas. Wouldn't mind just, like, you know, getting this little cancerous tumor out of here since I've got them kind of surrounded. And in the meantime, let's focus on winning this war as aggressively as is possible. We'll finish up here with Operation Spartacus, which I don't even really know what this does. The Second Emancipation Proclamation. What does that mean? What does that do for me? Not a clue. It's fine, though. We'll see what happens. Looks like the uh, Kaisar still has almost no troops on their western border, which is only making my life extremely easy over here. You got a lot of troops over here on the east. Now, there's always a possibility he's going to pull them back since we are approaching Phoenix, Flagstaff, Tucson. Sorry, Tucson. So, yeah, he's probably going to have an incentive to pull back and fight against us here pretty soon. But in the meantime, we are pushing aggressively getting a fair hunk of territory. By the way, can you just go do things like little encirclements, you know? These little tiny cutoffs, since I've got the mobility, seem like a very good idea. There we go, Operation Spartacus, and the next thing to work on. We had a vaccine issue, didn't we? Right, they used like some sort of, what is it, FEV or something against me, so let's go for hearts and minds and make sure we pick up those vaccinations. The Utah Plague, that's the one. Monthly population goes down by 500%, organization by 30%. It's gonna make it really difficult to win this. Not to mention attack goes by down by 30%, attrition and so on. Yeah, this is just terrible. Terrible across the board, hard to sustain a good war when you actually have, like, chemical warfare being used against you, am I right? So we'll go ahead and clear that out as quick as we can. Those paper shuffling jackass, how the hell do they expect me to run this unit if they keep shortchanging me on supplies? What the heck was that? Who the heck said all that? Was that, like, a custom voice thing from, like, one of my, my, uh, my leaders? That's hilarious. Hey, Flagstaff is down. All right, the seat of the Kaisar's absolute power has fallen to the United States. Let's see, how did the Legion have this many slaves? Yeah, this is where that whole Second Emancipation Proclamation should come into play. Is there like a decision I can take where I can like have a speech? You know, build some war support, evil empire, all that stuff, is that a thing? I don't see it anywhere here, well that's disappointing. I'm also gonna just have to stop all attacks for a moment. Until we get rid of the Utah Plague, my my stats are so bad, we're taking unnecessary losses. Not that I don't think I could still win the war even as is right now, I just think like, wh why throw my men away? Why throw my men and more importantly, my equipment away? Oh, we get some war support and cores in North and South Phoenix. That's a pretty nice prize. And the Kaisar, by the way, is absolutely starting to send more of his troops over here to the west. Okay, so it looks like they've recalculated that. The result being, though, that uh, Texas and Mexico are making some very aggressive pushes, and they're collapsing on the east. Yeah, they're not long for this world. They are not long for this world at all. Just waiting for the vaccinations to get distributed so we can get rid of this Utah plague, and as soon as that is done, I'll tell my people to go ahead and get going. Because, you know, vaccines happen instantly, the moment you think about it. Boom, that's all I was looking for. Everyone, get back on the line. Go get them, boys. That looks a lot nicer. What are some other things that I could be doing right now, by the way? Uh, we could go ahead and restore Navarro, which would basically make Navarro into a really, really, really good area. Wow, okay, flight simulators, production efficiency growth and stuff, all that could be nice. Eh, I don't know about that. We could open up Area 51, investigate the labs, open the hangars, and so on. These do get a lot of events. I'm trying to remember if much happens from these. I feel like in the back of my head, not much comes out of this. They're just like blank events for flavor, but they don't do anything. At least that was how I think it used to be. Now, in the Redux, I'm not sure that's true. Might be totally worthwhile. Something we could consider. Arsenal of Democracy. Still haven't done this. Oh, good God, there's so much to do. And, and, let's not forget, if I go all the way back over here to the left, there's also going to be a whole bunch of lovely free war goals. And I don't think the Kaisar is going to be around much longer, so maybe we go ahead and start working on those. 
Yep, there we go. FEV fizzles. All right, so we have managed to fight that off. Stability goes up. One thing I'm concerned about is... Yeah, our stability is awful right now. Our war support is abysmal. Yeah, the offensive war and stuff, combat casualties, I get some of that, but wow. Um, are there going to be some options to try and exhort heroism or whatever? That's usually a thing in the base game. Try to offset some of the damage done. There's not even war propaganda efforts. Maybe I need to maybe I need to go up over here to the American broadcasting propaganda. Yeah, that might be a thing we need to do. Well, that said, I don't know. Mandatory patriotism and all that? Sounds like the sort of thing that would get rejected, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna apologize in advance if today's commentary is not exactly what I would call on point. It's been a rough few days. Obviously, last week kind of threw off our schedule a lot. I had some sponsor content that took center stage, and I'm quite happy with how that stuff turned out, but it did throw this game off a little bit, so I apologize about that. But also, I'm just exhausted. <laughs> my uh, my baby son has um, decided to go through another sleep regression, which means he is waking up very frequently at night again. And I'm not getting much in the way of sleeps anymore, and that kind of sucks. Operation Domino. Uh, let's see, this is to be fighting off against the 80s or the White Legs. I'm pretty sure I already have the way to get to war with the White Legs. Yeah, this one right here. So, we can do that. So, I want to go for Plan Icarus or Achilles. That is going to do what exactly? It's going to be an Annex War goal against White Legs or the 80s. All right. Well, that's easy. 80s. And with the... Excuse me, Kaisar no longer able to defend them once they lose this war. This should be slim, easy pickings. No problem. We'll eat them up. Gobble, 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 gobble. Flagstaff is liberated. Six Semper Tyrannus. The news keeps giving me free base stability. That's all lovely. And there goes the Kaisar. There we go. Surprisingly, the war's not over. Seems like we need to go for Gente del Sol. Let's run in there and take it as fast as I can. With no Kaisar's Legion defending, my motorized should be able to get in here pretty darn quickly. Easy peasy, and there we go. All right. So I do have the most war score. Looks like it's me, mostly me and Texas sharing over here. All right, fair enough. Well, we are definitely gonna be trying to take some of the big stuff. So I'm thinking things like Flagstaff, Phoenix, and so on, and Tucson. Those are things I have to take for myself. I'm not interested in sharing the very good territory. Oh, and the Hoover Dam, of course. Gotta make sure you grab that Hoover Dam. And we should make sure we also take all of the ships from people because why build a navy when you can steal a navy? And this feels like a pretty decent deal for me so far, so I think we go ahead and confirm and exit here. Hopefully nothing weird happens and the Kaisar exists with one territory. Nope, they've been annexed, so that is it. We took a load of territory. We're looking pretty good. Not bad. Alrighty, let's gear up for some more war. Whoa! Hold on! Whoa, 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 hold on just a second. I was out of good commanders. Right, because I didn't like that any of my commanders could only take 10 or 4 people, so I decided to go ahead and promote a field commander with some experience, and I get a 7, 8, 7, 6? Holy crud, that's amazing! Wow, okay, uh, I guess this is part of the power of having the Pentagon reborn, giving everyone a lot of extra skill. Wow! We remember America in his darkest hour before his election, Granite asked, is there anything left, anything that still carries America's voice? And our decision to save Flagstaff demonstrated his faith that the answer was yes. We didn't need nukes. We needed the slaves who deserted in the dark of night, the followers who spread their teachings, and the Minutemen who held their line against the Institute. Granite was flawed and made many mistakes, but he turned the Enclave into a bridge between the old and the new world. He brought the reunited states together. Nice. Also, what is this? Happy holidays? My fellow Americans, we've been through a lot in the last few years. But it's time that we enjoy the holidays, I guess? And if you do worship an unexploded nuclear bomb, please give it to us. Uh, okay. There's a Christmas carol playing, guys. Of sorts. There's there's a kind of a Christmassy carol playing right now. <laughs> that is funny. Let's go ahead and declare that war. Though it does look like these guys are fighting East Port, so we're gonna have to share some of the war score. I just love having to share. You know, it feels so good. I'm gonna try going down propaganda broadcasts, by the way. It's not exactly the whole, like, First Amendment route that I would prefer to do, but I'm really struggling with my war support. The more I can get that up and running, honestly, the better. Uh, 
Or maybe not. Hang on. Congress is saying they think this is a bad idea. They want to refuse to fund its continued operation. Oh, for God's sake. Congress says no? Oh, no. If I want to be a dictator, I can override the- Oh, come on! Alright, no propaganda. And the Supreme Court also says no. Seven to three. Well, I hope I didn't want any stability or anything. That's gone. Wow. Air Force One hath been discovered, though. That's pretty cool. I shall soar on the wings of liberty. This is not the follow-on event that I care about. Where's the follow-on awesome event about the wings of liberty? Friggin' heck, Congress. All right, I have no choice but to go down entertainment broadcasts instead. Stop it. I mean, that's smart, right? The, the checks and balances are supposed to stop me from using propaganda to really manipulate the crud out of the people. That would defeat a lot of the purposes, I get that. But also, when war support is this low, it's kind of hard to conquer the entire known world. Have you considered that maybe you shouldn't try to conquer the entire world? Get the frick out of here. And there go the 80s. And I have almost no war score really to speak of. Oh God. Well, at least the barbarians aren't going to be attacking me anymore. That's great. I guess this means I should go ahead and fight white legs. Let's get the five day war goal and immediately declare war and go. Just occurred to me I should finally start using some planes. I've avoided that up to this point because uh, I didn't feel like having them all shot down since the Kaiser apparently had, what was it, 8,000 planes to use against me, which is still ridiculous by the way. But if we've got uh, no serious opposition, now's the time to start using a lot of casts. There we go, we'll reassign these to all the different armies so they follow along naturally, which usually isn't the best system in the world, but I don't feel like micromanaging it, and all that extra cast should start really adding up now. There we go. Oh, right, also we can now fight New Vegas. They got a lot of robots. I got 79 divisions sitting here. That's not a small number. <sighs> I think I need to work down toward... Things like Masters of the Wasteland. If the Kaiser Legion does not exist and the Washington Brotherhood does not exist, we can get Manifest Destiny and get Annex War Goals on everyone who is not my puppet. Everyone who's not my puppet. That seems pretty good. So, yes. Let's go down this. This means we need to find a way to kill the Washington Brotherhood, who, by the way, is currently fighting the Troll Warns, and unless my eyes deceive me, they're losing. I mean, hey, cool. If I can just get uh, War Gold on literally everyone, that is going to supercharge this run. My legs are actually putting up a reasonable fight over here. I still think we should be able to handle it without too much issue, but getting a little annoying. Uh, all we have to do really is just, I think, run into New Jeris Jerusalem and into New Canaan, do that, and we should be good. I have received a lot of requests, by the way, to play things like Heaven's Gate and New Canaan. For some reason, people seem to think that this um, strangely religious sector of like five or six different nations is really fun. They may very well be right. I, I don't know. There we go. All righty. So we pushed all the way through there, which means we can finish off the white legs. Let's try to push our way all the way up into the high value territories like New Canaan. I don't feel like sharing those. And I'm not going to share anything with the sleepers. I plan on taking all 45 states. Thank you kindly, and that still leaves me with a couple of weeks to get some more troops down here and get ready to go and obliterate New Vegas. Oh gosh, I'm sitting on so many extra factories. I don't even know what to do with all of them, honestly. We burned through an absolute ton of artillery, by the way. Whatever this stuff is, its, it's maintenance, its reliability is pathetic garbage. Anyway, let's see how good New Vegas is going to be with all of their divisions. My hope is not very good. Oh, there's at least a few places where they're giving me a little bit of trouble, but as long as my piercing value is pretty good, we should be able to beat up all those robots. As long as all those robots go down, everything shall be fine. And yes, it looks like we are indeed crushing them, which makes sense. I like to think that like we're trying to compress like uh, coal into a diamond, you know, just a really high pressure environment. That's what we're doing right now. And New Vegas has already fallen. All we have to do now is pull into Jacobstown, and that's it. We win. Thank you. The important thing is that cancerous tumor is now gone. What do we want to justify on next? Honestly, it may not matter, because it sounds like we're about to get uh, war goals on literally everybody. Well, it kind of depends. No, Washington Brotherhood actually is about to go down. I was going to say, it depends on if they actually do die, but they're dying. Huh. Okay. This, um, yeah, I don't know if there's a reason to justify on anyone right now. Capitol Hill has fallen to the Troll Warren. 
See, there we go. All right, Washington Brotherhood's gonna go down. The irony being, the trolls are actually doing my bidding right now. I'll get to conquer more of the world thanks to them. Okay, I got a new event here, and let it see the new one. This was me picking up the doo -doo -doo -doo, ring in the new world. Because I'm thinking maybe we want to move on to things like Canada and to Mexico at some point soon. The whole world was engulfed in nuclear flame and fallout. They saw the destruction of lives, cultures, and civilizations. Yeah, many places fell. It wasn't just the U.S. and China. So, what are we going to do now? Are we going to restore the old world similar to what it was? Or are we going to pursue the Enclave's dream of becoming the uh, world's policeman and take over the world bit by bit until there's only one flag? I mean, I'm kind of all about Pax Americana. We're doing that one. Question is, do we want to do that right now or not? We could go down Operation Leviathan. I think this is a way of getting a war goal against either the Washington Brotherhood or the Trolls. So we'll go ahead and say this is my backup plan in case somehow the Washington Brotherhood pulls a miracle or takes too long. Ghouls are discussing our flaws. Sounds very communisty to me. No, I'm kidding. Um, we have not accepted he's gone feral. Okay, I can do this to get some war support, but I really need to find a way to get that legitimacy back up. And we also really, now that I think about it, never did exactly finish accepting ghouls and stuff. Right, we should probably be doing that. That would be, yeah, that would be a thing. Fair enough, their criticism is valid. I have a war goal I can use against the Cyphers, since they are apparently tribals as well, and we do not like tribals. So let's march in there and grab Mesa Verde. In the Valley of the Shadow of Death. Though since I have the most casts, I'm pretty sure it results in them having much death. There we go. Nice, easy war. Grab that. Remove some more border gore. And of Operation Leviathan. Let's see. Oregon fared the worst of the Cascade Commonwealth. Super mutants and stuff. Washington with the Washington Brotherhood, led by the Immortal. We've done a run as him before, by the way. He actually was kind of fun. Secure Seattle or deal with the Warren. I believe this is exactly what you think it is, which is do you want to fight the Washington Brotherhood or do you want to fight against the Troll Warren? Or whoever owns Capitol Hill, which is probably about to be the Troll Warrens anyway. So we'll pick that up, and now I've got a war goal just in case this is taking too long. Oh, New Mariposa. When did that happen? Apparently they beat the Washington Brotherhood, and they've reformed into New Mariposa. That's a thing? All right, hold on. Well, thank you for that. Um, question. How, does that mean that I now can do the thing that I want to do, which is... Masters of the Wasteland! I'm going to kill all of you! <laughs> Your only hope now, world, at this point, is to everyone form a coalition against my aggressive expansion. Now, while you can. There's Mariposa Reborn. Alright, I get claims on Arroyo and Klamath. Okay. Also, they get a whole lot of intermediate tech. Pfft. So they're slightly bigger, better monkeys banging on rocks. Come on. Still don't <laughs> hold a candle to me. All right, let's see if this actually works the way it says it does, because this is about to be amazing if so. We'll find out. Um, all right, so with that done, let's go ahead and finish up the new American army, which gets me a lot of beautiful benefits. Artillery attack and division attack and planning and conventional warfare and so on. All of that's great. Available war goals. Yeah, I may have a war goal on literally everybody. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. You get non-stop warfare from here on out until we have manifest destiny our way across the entirety of the continent. And then I won't be satisfied until we can find a way to nuke China again. Oh, why is that? Do you know that the Chinese are over there or something? Look, I don't even know if there's anyone alive in China. I just know that I want to nuke them again. Mutants, threat or menace? Usually a menace, but all right, with new Mariposa. We got a problem. Get them out of the country and expel the super mutants, but they may come back, or make an example out of the most unruly. See, I'm trying to be the good guy who, like, you know, integrates them and stuff. So I'm probably not gonna try to kick them all out. There we go. American army has been abused. That's all great. What else do we care about? Let's just go down Arsenal Democracy and stuff. I'm curious what it's gonna be. There's the Arsenal Democracy, all right. In pre-war America was known as the Arsenal Democracy, its industrial capacity was unrivaled. Even the Chinese communists couldn't hope to meet the output of the United States during the war, and it was only the Great War that brought the end. So if we were to establish power waste and have nothing to stand against us, we could have old world corporations, or of course we could, you know, reform things since the corporations kind of caused a lot of the problems in the first place. 
So, do we want to go down the strength of the new world or power of the old world? I think we're going to try the new world for fun. I don't know if it's the better way to go, but it sounds like the good stuff. So, sh sure. I mean, we can reform like DARPA and stuff like that. You know, when I was in uh, college, I actually really wanted to work on DARPA specific projects. Like, that was my aspiration. Which, um, isn't exactly how it always works. It's really more like DARPA hands out contracts to people to do things, right? So, like, that was a little bit naive on my part. But I thought working on the cutting edge of a very much different, like, technologies and stuff in the U.S. would be really cool. I still think that, but that's just obviously not how it's gone. Hello, the Chosen One's trial. Did we find the Chosen One? From, like, Fallout 2? Granite's hermaphrodite mother? Father? Thing? How's that work? I don't know. The Chosen One's trial was never in doubt. Even if Granite has suspicions about the Enclave's experiments on the oil rig in Navarro, too many members of the Enclave blamed the Chosen One for deaths of friends and family, and propaganda blamed the Chosen One for stopping the Enclave's medical assistance. So, the Chosen One was found guilty of supporting slavers in the den, or of killing miners in the Broken Hills, and so on. A whole bunch of cl uh, claims that are probably stupid. Fire sub uh, firing squad or be compassionate. Well, we need the war support, so I'll do that, absolutely. But, um, that's got to be a little bit conflicting for Granite now, don't it? He knows the secret. By the way, I found out that it is absolutely worth building the power grids and powering them all on. When you do that, they do eventually become core states. Which is obviously really good. So, if I have massive industrial capability and I do have 450 civilian uh, factories in use right now... Uh, we can just build that everywhere, and just core all territory. Used to be in this mod, you had to spend oodles of political power. So the result is, now I'm sitting on way more political power than I know what to do with. But that's fine. Anyway, I'm fighting against New Mariposa and the trolls who just captured the Warren. And it looks like they are very easily falling before me. Yeah, that, mm, yeah, no problem whatsoever. Alright, let's go ahead and get DARPA back and stuff like that. The thing is, I'm pretty sure Arsenal Democracy is intended to give you a pretty big military industry that I can use to start conquering the world, right? Guys, I'm already sitting on over a thousand factories in total. I've got 526 uh, military factories. I don't even know what to do with all of them. So, at this point, Arsenal Democracy just seems slightly redundant. I mean, fun, but redundant. Um, let's see, another 5% research? Good God. I am stacking so many modifiers, it's nuts. I mean, look at all this. This is the most modifiers I've ever seen on a nation, ever, under any circumstance. A lot of it's corporate stuff, because I keep finding and, like, resurrecting old companies and stuff, but, like, holy crud. We just keep getting better and better. I've got so many godly stats on all of my units. I've got research speed for days. This is insanity. I mean, do we want to go for, like, some extra aircraft and stuff? Sure, all this does is just make it easier for me to kill everybody. I don't know, I'm starting to feel like this series is starting to rapidly run its course. We, we've, we've dealt with most threats. I think there's only three real threats left to deal with. One is the Sisters of Steel. The second is going to be Texas. And then the third is going to be, um, Mexico. And they're Rio Pact. That could be a problem at some point. Out of curiosity, did I get Wargles against them too? I sure as frick did. <laughs> right, so it's not just uh, Manifest Destiny on all the former United States territories. It's everyone in the world. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So, um, that's going to be the big goal then. Take out those three ma remaining major powers. And uh, that's all there is to it. How is Heaven's Gate part of Kaisar's Legion, out of curiosity? I killed Kaisar's Legion. I didn't fight you. How did this happen? I don't know. Oh, where did I get an extra research slot? I got no idea. I just keep getting stronger every second I turn around, and it's honestly a little overwhelming. Well, let's just go ahead and keep clearing out some of these small little guys over here. I, by the way, seem to remember something about Slanter being, like, an event. I remember this, I think, from the original uh, Enclave Redux, specifically because it's a freaking raccoon. And you don't forget about things like that. There was something about them peacefully joining us. I don't know how you trigger it, though. So I guess we might as well just, like, annex the raccoons. Well, we can go ahead and start working on some upgrades for my APCs. Make all of my motorized better, since I have a lot of those. Curious how strong these things are going to be once you got the best uh, APCs. Soft attack's not looking like the worst thing in the world. Decent hardness value, too. 72%. That means that uh, most of the enemy's soft attack is nullified. They have to have hard attack. 
And if they don't have a lot of heart attack built in, they shouldn't be able to do a lot of damage to those motorized. They're getting kind of tanky. Munitions Depot. Fighters get 20% more air attack. Close air get 20 more. Wow. And bombers get 50% more attack. That's ridiculously good. Well, let's go ahead and deal with Eastport real quick. Send everyone I've got to once again collapse upon them from all sides. Should be fairly hands off. Just going to wait for these guys to fall apart. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. That's going to be about, I'm guessing, maybe five... Four, three, two, nah, never mind, I was a little off. I was going slow because I wasn't sure and I wanted to time it out. Turns out I shouldn't have done that. I should have had more faith. And boom. Guys, if that's all that this is going to be from here on out, this is a cakewalk. This is a cakewalk and a half. I can just, I, I can do everything I want. Anything I want. All right, we may only have one more video left in this series. I'm not sure if I want to literally conquer every single territory on camera. It's just going to take a long time to do that. But we will see. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe. Yes, you probably saw the big bloom on the subscribe button down there. It's kind of cool, right? So hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.